pressure. Her work ethics have been demonstrated in the many areas of the communities in Texas in which she has resided. Many of her volunteering opportunities have been through Christian service in the Primitive Baptist faith in Texas. Treasure met and married the love of her life, Gurley Welch. She continued her volunteer work when her children, two girls and twin boys, reached school age. Treasure was sometimes almost a fixture in the schools that her children attended because she was always willing to help out any time she was called upon. Together, Treasure and Burley accepted the calling of the ministry, and they started on a long journey to serve and revive numerous primitive Baptist churches in Texas. While, ser while serving the Wichita Falls Church, Treasure became an angel in disguise as she ministered to members of the community, including the many patients in the Texas State Mental Hospital. In ministering to the patients, she often took the inmates into her home for meals and on occasion would take them to church services. Some of her other activities in the community included visiting nursing homes, hospitals, and homebound individuals. Within the confines of the church, she wore many different hats, serving as church treasurer, choir director, pianist, Sunday school superintendent, and director of maintenance and special events. Treasurer and Burley were greatly rewarded when the Wichita Falls Church became the largest primitive Baptist church in Texas. And this was just the beginning of more churches to come. In 1955, Treasure and her husband established the first Primitive Baptist Youth Camp in Texas. As always, Treasure was right in the middle of this great project. As she helped Elder Welch, she became the wind beneath his wings, his right hand, and, an all, and, and as always, his beloved wife. She became director of the youth camp, assuming the duties of chief counselor or chef, counselor, and on occasion, the custodian for the camp, which served hundreds of children through, through the years by offering extensive opportunities in religious training and many varied athletic opportunities. Elder Welch, Welch passed away in 2006 after 65 years of marriage to Treasure. But Treasure picked up where her husband left off and is continuing the quest to serve the Lord and to be of service to the residents of Glen Rose, Texas and the surrounding communities. Currently, at 89 years of age, Treasure is serving as Ground and Maintenance Director for the Mineral Springs Primitive Baptist Church in Glen Rose, Texas. She continues her daily routine of visiting the sick, both at home and in hospitals, and those in retirement centers and other duties related to her church. She has never lost pos her positive outlook on life or her desire to serve her community. Her name, Treasure depicts her life and her service to the state of Texas. What a wonderful legacy she will leave behind. She has truly been a treasure to all who have been touched by her love and compassion, and she is also a treasure to the state of Texas. I sincerely feel that our Texas treasure should be granted the Yellow Rose of Texas Award for the community service she has so lovingly donated and to those whose lives she has touched. Thank you in advance for your consideration in this matter. Yeah. Submitted by Office of State Representative Charlie Guerin from District Liaison and Cozart. Yay, Mom. Yay, Mom. <laughs> I'm fixing to present this, uh, the Yellow Coat Rose of Texas Award. I've held this office for 11 years. And this is not uh, an award that's given out lightly. This is only the third one I've been able to present in 11 years. And it only goes to, to women that have dedicated their life to Texas, to the communities, making their communities a better place to live and work and, and raise their families. So it's, it's, a, it's Texas' highest award that can be presented to a civilian woman. With that, the state of Texas... To all to whom these presents shall come, greetings. Know ye that Treasure McAllen Welch is hereby commissioned a Yellow Rose of Texas. Under the laws of the state of Texas, with all rights, privileges, emoluments pertaining to said office, in testimony whereof, I have signed my name and caused the seal of the state of Texas to be affixed at the city of Austin this fifth day of October. Signed, Rick Perry, Governor of Texas. God bless you.